Today is the last Sunday of the Great Lent. The next Sunday is the Palm Sunday and with it we are entering the Holy Week. Today, as we did in the past Sundays of the Lent, we are reflecting on yet another miracle of Jesus Christ. Jesus gives sight to a blind man named Bartimaeus. Sight or vision is a very important theme in the Gospels and also for Jesus. There are various occasions when Jesus underscores the importance of sight and tries to clarify the significance of this in our Christian life. Already in the Sermon on the Mount, we have reference to this. Jesus tells, the eye is the lamp of the body. And if the eye is bad, the whole body will be in darkness. And later, Jesus clarifies that what is more important is the vision of the inner eye than of the physical eye. Quoting Isaiah, he tells his listeners, even when you claim that you have eyes and that you see, in fact, you do not see. The reference is to the vision within. What is the difference between the sight of the physical eye and that of the inner eye. Our physical eye is limited to see only what appears, only the surface. But the reality is beyond or beneath the surface. What is important is to know the reality for which we need real inner vision. Unfortunately, our culture tends to go so much with appearance. The look is very important in our culture. People tend to go by what looks, or how a person looks, how a person appears. But as we know, the look is very often deceptive. What we really need is to know the reality beyond the look, beneath the look. So the first lesson that, you, that we learn today from today's Gospel is the importance of having sufficient inner light in order to see the person in front of me as he or she really is. Secondly, the inner darkness could make us see things as fragments. The lack of light within us makes us or causes us not to see the unity underlying beyond or beneath all the apparent divisions. The lack of inner light prejudices me. My, my vision becomes biased and consequently I tend to discriminate people and the realities around me on the basis of numerous factors. In history we have learned great spiritual leaders who had enlightenment. What is this? They had an abundance of inner light, light within them, which enabled them to see everything from a dif different perspective. Uh, so to say, from a cosmic perspective, 
the lack of this light within us is a block to see everything as belonging to one whole, as the different notes of a beautiful piece of music, to see the harmony around us. Thirdly, there is reference to a spiritual blindness. Very often, our sinfulness causes us not to see the good around us. Our sin, especially when they are habituated, is a block for us to see or experience the divine around us, to know God. The Pharisees failed to see the good in the action of Jesus, namely in the healing of, of the blind person. Rather, or instead, they were finding fault with him, saying that he broke the Sabbath law. We need inner light. Our inner eyes have to be bright enough in order to see all the good around us. Because there is so much of good around us. There is so much of good in the people around us. But very often, our inside that is darkened by our, by our habitual sins and sinfulness block us from seeing that, from experiencing that. The Lent is a time, an occasion to dispel the darkness within us and to regain the inner light. Jesus introduced himself as a light of the world and he invited us to be the light of the world. We can be the light of the world. We can dispense, dispel the darkness within us and around us only by letting the light of Jesus fill our hearts and permeate our whole being. For this, we need to come closer to the eternal light, especially during these last days of the Lent. May God bless us all. Thank you.